What's up, everybody? This is Mr. G, and we're going to be doing a little experiment today because somebody told me that I can make an egg float um, in water if I add salt. Now, whether I believe them or not, I'm really not sure, but I'm going to make an educated guess um, based on what I know, and I'm going to say that if I put salt in water, it will not affect whether an egg floats. We'll see if I'm right. We'll see if the evidence supports my hypothesis. So let's get ahead and let's start with this experiment. I have an egg, I have salt, I have measuring cups and spoons. I also have a stir. Um, I have water inside the cups and I also have my goggles because you know you're not a scientist without your goggles. You better put them out. All right. so. Let's go ahead and let's get started with this experiment. Um, I have four cups. Those cups are of equal size, the same shape. They have the same amount of water in them. And I know you're gonna say, Mr. G, this one looks a little bit lower than that. No, I use measuring cups, guys. Everything is the same. So everything's equal about these cups made out of the same glass. There's four different cups because we're gonna be testing four different groups is what we call them. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this me these measuring cups and measuring spoons and I'm gonna change the amount of salts I put in each of them. So let's just get one thing straight. I have four groups. One of those groups is going to have to stay under normal conditions. In every control experiment, you have to have one group that stays under normal conditions. So what do you think that would mean under normal conditions in this case? Well, if you said that normal conditions would be the, uh, a cup with no salt in it, you would be absolutely correct. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start adding salt. I'm gonna keep this one normal, and then I'm gonna start adding salt to the other cups, and I'm gonna add different amounts. So here's my first, uh, the second cup, I'm going to put one tablespoon of salt. Okay. Now, as you might know or might not know, but you'll learn this year, salt is soluble. That means it dissolves in water. So we're going to have to wait a little bit for it to dissolve. In my third cup, I'm going to be putting two tablespoons of salt. So I got one. And let's do one more. All right, and let's do the last one. I'm going for the big guns here. So I'm going to put in this one about a third of a cup of salt. Now, what I'm going to do after this is I'm just going to stir the cups a little bit. And then from there, I'm going to let it dissolve. So we're going to have to sit a little bit. I'm going to edit that part of the video out so you don't have to watch it dissolve. So let's go ahead and I'm going to start stirring. All right, so everything's stirred, everything's dissolved. So now it's time to perform the experiment. Um, we changed the amount of salt in each of these glasses. All right, and we kept a lot of things the same. Actually, we kept everything the same, except for the amount of salt. So let's go ahead and let's test it out and let's see what our results are. So I am going to go into the cup with no salt and let's see if it floats. And I think we could all agree that that did not float. So I'm going to take this egg out Notice I'm using the same exact egg in each cup. All right, let's go cup number two. This was with one tablespoon of salt. And it is not floating as you can see. All right, so let's go on to cup number three. This is two tablespoons of salt. All right, so I got Floating here in two tablespoons of salt. I think you can agree. I'm just going to let it sit there just so you can see. 
All right, I see a little egg popping up at the top. And let's do the last one, just to make sure. All right, look at that, it's floating. And this one was with a third of a cup of salt. So as you can see, we're measuring at the end of this experiment, whether the egg floats. And our results, as you can see, did not support Mr. G's hypothesis. Now, there's one thing I gotta tell you. Mr. G can't be right all the time. I'll take the L on this one. Um, and I know that um, you're gonna learn about why this actually happened coming up in the next unit. Why does the egg float in the water with more salt than less salt? Um, and that's what we're gonna be focusing on next unit. But thank you guys for watching the experiment. And I know that you guys will be analyzing this uh, with your teacher um, in the coming lesson. Thank you.